Here we go. Come here, you. <laughs> Bubba shot strikes again. Come here. Look at that. <laughs> That's what we want, boys and girls. That's what the Bubba shot can do. I'm going to show you how to catch fish like this on the Bubba Shop. What I'm going to do is show you the different rigs, different equipment you can use with this, and then I'm going to take you on the water and show you how to fish the Bubba Shot. Hey folks, Glenn May here with BassResource.com. Today I want to talk to you about an, an unusual way, if you will, for fishing a drop shot. It's what I call a Bubba Shot. And maybe other people have coined that term too. I'm not claiming fame to that, but that's what I'm calling it, Bubba Shot. Basically, it's heavy duty drop shot and using bait casting outfit and braided line, and throwing it into heavy co cover versus a finesse technique in open water that you would use, you know, that's typical of a drop shot rig. So what we're doing today, I've got a quarter ounce weight. This is just a bullet weight. You don't need any specialty weight in this case. It's a bullet weight. All I've done is I've tied a knot at the end of the line and I've pegged it with a rubber peg in here so you can slide it up and down, you know, the line if you want, but it's on there really good. But at any rate, I don't want that to move, so that's how I've done it. There's lots of other ways you can do it. I'm sure you can buy a specialty weight for it, but I'm all for simplicity. So quarter ounce weight, you can use a 3 8 ounce, even a half ounce if you want. And I've got braided line. It's a 50 pound braided line, so it's stout. It's strong line, so I'm using a strong uh, hook on here. This is an extra wide gap, what they call a super line hook. It's a thick diameter hook. It's designed for this heavy line, heavy gear that we're going to be using today. And I just got this, you know, on a Rage structure bug here. Perfect bait for this. Perfect bait for this type of thing. All we're going to be doing is throwing this in some heavy gear or heavy, heavy brush and cover where the fish are in. You want this a little bit up off the bottom so that it helps them find it a little bit easier. And they can hone in on that. So we're not, we don't have a long leader here. About a 12 inch, maybe a 14 inch leader on here. You want to adjust that length based upon where they are in the structure that you're fishing. If they're really high up on there, then you want a lot longer leader. And of course, if they're further closer to the bottom, shorten it up a little bit. But that's what we're using today. And because of that, you know, we're using a real stout rod here. This is a medium heavy action, it's like a flipping stick. This is a 7.3 strong rod that I normally use for flipping and pitching. It's perfect for using anywhere you would pitch and flip or throw a jig or throw a Texas rig, rig worm, that's where you would throw this. Okay, it's a great outfit for that, but it's a different look, a different presentation that a lot of anglers don't use, so it gives the fish something new and you might be able to catch them, whereas other anglers don't. So that's what we're doing today. That's the equipment we're using. Now let's go out and fish it. All right, so the Bubba Shot, one of the beauties of this is because it's such heavy duty stuff, you can throw it in the weeds. And that's what I'm gonna do here. But keep in mind, anywhere you throw a Texas rig bait or a jig, you can also throw the Bubba Shot. So flipping and pitching up into bush piles, shrubs, into weeds, trees up in the shoreline, any kind of cover, you can also throw the Bubba Shot. But here's what I'm gonna show you is a little bit different from those. I, I got some weeds right here, some milfoil, it's coming up just under the surface and it's in about 10, 15 feet of water. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pitch it out here in those weeds and let it drop right down in there. You get to those fish that are hiding down in those, in those weeds. Just let it sit. And once it hits the bottom, I'm just gonna lift up and I'm gonna hold onto it. That's it. I'm just gonna hold, hold it steady and not move it. Now it may seem like I'm not doing anything at all, but actually I am. Now if you take your hand and you move it and hold it in front of your face and hold it for as steady as you can for 30 seconds and you'll notice you can't hold it perfectly still. You're not a mannequin. So all those little movements that you're doing are being transmitted down the rod, down the line, right to the bait. Very subtle, subtle movements. In addition, any body of water has current in it. All of them do. Even if it's a, a, a lake, there's still wind-driven current, there's wake-driven current, there's you know different things that can move that water around, it's always moving, it's not stagnant. So that's gonna move the bait as well. Plus, you got wind on the water, little ripples, they come up and they're lapping against your line, and that's gonna be transmitted to your bait as well. So all those things, that bait is wiggling down there and it's looking alive. So I'm just holding it here as those fish move around those weeds and they're feeding, they're gonna come across that 
and I'm just waiting for a bite. Now, you can do that forever. <laughs> or another thing I want to do every once in a while is you just take the rod tip and just shake it just a little bit. Just like that. It's not much. Real subtle movement and then let it sit. And that's it. Just to get their attention in case they're, you know, they're out there searching for those baits, bait fish, you just give it a little jiggle and let it sit in that weed again. It's very straightforward and can be very boring, but you know, this is something that you don't use to cover a lot of water. It's not a search bait. It's something to do once you've targeted the fish. In this case, once we've, we've determined that they're in these weeds, so here you just got to dig them out and you got to go in after them and you got to be patient. This, this, the, the, the Bubba Shot rig, it's all about patience. So you're not going to be moving a whole heck of a lot. I'm going to lift it up out of some of those weeds and drop it back down into another spot and start all over again. Great way to dig fish out of cover, especially when they're lethargic, you know, you know, cold front conditions, or when it's cold out, you know, the, the sun temperature drops, something like that, when the fish aren't actively feeding, is the perfect way to go after them. And again, if you like fishing plastics, and, and flipping and pitching them, and, and jigs, that sort of thing, you can certainly do it this way too, give the fish a little bit different look you might catch a lot of fish that other anglers are missing. I hope those tips help. For more tips and tricks like that, visit BassResource.com. Hey, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And if you want to watch more videos like this, click one of the images on your screen right now. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.